Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日はこのようにしっかり熟したバナナを使って甘くて香りのいいバナナケーキを作ります。First, mash the ripe banana with a balloon whisk. To help prevent it from discoloring, add the lemon juice. Toast to coat evenly. Next, beat an egg in a bowl. Add the raw sugar. The raw sugar goes great with this recipe, but you can substitute regular white sugar instead. Now, add the vanilla extract. And mix until the sugar dissolves completely. Combine the unsalted butter and milk in a cup and gradually melt it in hot water. Then add it to the egg mixture. You can also use vegetable oil instead of the butter. Mix it evenly. And now combine the cake flour, baking powder, and salt. Stir to mix. Then sift the flour into the bowl. You can also use all purpose flour instead of the cake flour. Now distribute the mashed banana into the bowl. And coat the banana with the flour. Then Mix the batter with minimal folding actions until all the flour is moistened. Make sure to avoid over mixing, otherwise, it will have a dense and firm texture. Line a loaf pan with parchment paper and pour in the batter. Drop the pan on a flat surface several times to remove any air bubbles. Even out the top. Before making the batter, make sure to preheat the oven to 170 degrees Celsius. Place the pan into the oven and bake at 170 degrees Celsius for about 50 minutes. If the top browns too quickly, cover it with aluminum foil at the final stage to keep it from burning. Now, remove the pan and place it onto a cooling rack. Skewer the bread with a bamboo stick, and if the stick comes out clean, it is ready. Let it sit until slightly cooled. And now, remove the bread from the pan. The outside is crispy and the inside is moist and fluffy. The bread is still warm and looks so delicious. A tip to making delicious banana bread is to use an aromatic ripe banana. Alternatively, walnut, cinnamon powder, or rum can be added to taste. Banana is a t of a good t a s t まだあったかいうちが一番美味しいです。The sweetness depends on the banana, so adjust the amount of sugar to taste. When storing the bread in the fridge, it is best toasted to enhance the fluffy texture. Good luck in the kitchen!